Florida's State Board of Education passed several new rules today that implement the requirements set forth in Florida's Parental Rights and Education Act that was signed into law over the summer. That is the law that opponents have dubbed the Don't Say Gay Law. It's a law that continues to create controversy. Emotions flared during today's Board of Education meeting. Rescue's Kelsey Thor joins us live in the studio to break it all down. So Kelsey, what exactly, what exact rules did the board pass today? Well, Stu, they passed a whole list of new rules, but the ones that caused the most controversy were those related to this new Parental Rights Act. One new rule makes clear that kindergarten through third grade teachers cannot provide classroom instruction on sexual orientation or gender identity. Another rule requires schools notify parents if transgender students are allowed to use the bathroom and locker rooms of their choosing. Both of those rules were passed by the board unanimously, but not before dozens of people voiced their opinion during public comment. Teachers have no right to push subliminal ideologies onto my children. They're not teaching children sex. They're saying this person is a boy. They use he, him pronouns. Emotions ran high at Wednesday's Board of Education meeting as members of the public either voiced their approval or dismay over several of the board's new rules. I just want to say that the inclusion and participation of the LGBTQ plus people in society and schools is not indoctrination. It is simply that of them participating in society and being themselves. The idea that there should be secrets between adults and students regarding sexuality is incomprehensible to me. Several members of the conservative-leaning Moms for Liberty organization traveled from across the state to attend the meeting. LGBTQ activists also filled the room. But the most intense moment came when one speaker, who identified herself as an Orange County teacher, took to the microphone to voice her opposition to the new rules and had to be escorted out of the room after refusing to stick to the time limit. You are villainizing us unnecessarily with this bill. We are the teachers. We are the good ones. Don't be confused. Teachers should respect. Now that clip really shows just how emotional it was in that meeting room today. As I said, the board ended up unanimously approving both of those controversial rules. They also approved a new rule that would require elementary schools log all of their library books, even books teachers may stock in their classrooms on a website, so parents can search what books are in their child's school. Back to you guys. All right, Kelsey, thank you.